In Chain Designs, you guys have four days left to win this insane C6 ZR1. All you have to do is go down in the description and buy any one of my products on the tab. We have some great Biden shirts here, some funny stickers, key tags, hot sauces, knives, anything you want. In Chain Designs has it. And the entries that you're going to get are not just for this insane ZR1, but also the Carbon 65 with a manual transmission, one of the rarest C7 Corvette ever made. Huge selection here, the Secure by AR15 shirt that is worth a ton of entries and the Mandate Freedom shirt. This Biden shirt's running out. There's only a few left, so make sure you get on it. My followers have won in the past. I want to hand you guys the keys in less than four days. We've changed 32 people's lives. I want to make you the 33rd and the 34th winner. So go on my tab, times 20 entries, get an insane amount of entries in the last four days here of the dual giveaway. Change your life. A lot of new fans have come to the channel since this big purchase here. We used to have a 68 GTL. Whenever I say we, I mean my father had a, or excuse me, a 68 Camaro RS and now in its place a 1968 Pontiac GTO and the reason why this was done because even though the Camaro was so sentimental and, and part of the family, my dad had to get rid of it just because I had some issues with it that it was like, you know what? I don't want to have to put another 20 grand into paint. Uh, he painted it all himself, but to have to go through that again would just suck. And the issues with the paint was because of the metal underneath, not uh, not any of his doing. So this came along. You guys can watch this video. I was on Facebook Marketplace, pulled this up, and we went out that same day and bought it in cash. And for the other people that don't know about Mike's U-Haul here, he gave this to my dad for free as like a Father's Day gift, which has a perfect 5.3 liter engine in it, the V8. And we're like, you know what? This one didn't come with an engine. How sick would it be to take a brand new 5.3 engine and stick it into a Pontiac GTO, essentially making this one of the most reliable Pontiac GTOs you're ever gonna find, one of the most reliable muscle cars you're ever gonna find. The problem is though, adapting this engine to the GTO. It's a little bit pricey and there's some issues because this is electronic power steering, hydraulic power steering, so many more electronics and sensors that you would have to delete. Pretty much every problem is derived from how this is all electric for all of its stuff because it's way more efficient, more accurate, and debatably more reliable as opposed to this. Now we have plenty of room to fit this engine in here. It'd be cool to have a little, it'd be great to put a manual transmission in this. Five speed would be pretty sick. So that's where we're at right now. Now I'm in the future. I already know what's gonna happen today. Uh, but we are, but we're going to go out. So we're going to head out today because my dad found another 5.3 engine. Uh, I think it's out of a 2004 Silverado. And that is going to either be used for the 1968 GTO here or the Firebird. This is a 1983 Firebird Trans Am. This thing is pretty sick. One I really liked was Steve has like a, a sick GTA. It'd be really cool to uh, check that thing out. I, I was up there a couple times to check it out. His GTA is pretty cool. But we got the Trans Am, 1983 Trans Am. So we'd have engines for both of these because currently both both of these are just rollers. We got the original numbers matching here. This is a 305, which unfortunately back in the 80s and late 70s, they were trying to cut down on power because of the gas shortages, stuff like that. They wanted to make everything lower combustion, more fuel efficient, which sucks. I understand it, but it's like, you know what? You're making a muscle car. Why put a 4.6 liter engine in a Mustang when it's your GT? You know what I mean? It's like, if you want to be fuel efficient, don't get a Mustang. Keep the bigger engines, keep the fans happy, but I get it. You're not going to sell as many. For whatever reason, that's just the way that America or the world goes. So let's head out. We'll go buy this engine. It's been a hectic 48 hours uh, since we picked up this engine that has now been pretty much torn, not all the way apart, but pretty torn apart. My grandfather got pretty sick and I had to take him to the hospital two nights ago. For whatever reason, the emergency room in a pretty nice area, I think it doesn't matter where you could be. You could be in Beverly Hills or Scottsdale, Arizona, and the emergency room is always at some point, especially at night or when it's raining, is gonna be insane. So this happened. Bro, I gotta tell you about I'm swimming, bro. They want you out of here. So I, you need to I'm handling my business. What's up, bro? Hello? Yo! No! Bro, stop touching me, bro. No, I'm not, bro. You were you were alive. Bro, what are you doing? What the f are you doing? I was just in a car crash, my guy. I was in a car crash, bro. Bro, can somebody record this, please? Oh! Oh. 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 
So we bought this 5.3 engine for, like I mentioned, the GTO or the Firebird Trans Am. I'm not a mechanic by any means, but my father is, and he was able to break this engine down, uh, which he didn't really want to do. He wanted like sort of a complete engine that ran and so something that was maybe not super reliable. It was like you get what you pay for, but something we could just slap in these cars just to have a little bit of fun and it worked. Also, take parts off of this, like maybe brackets if we can't use the engine for whatever reason and use it for the other 5.3 for the GTO. Um, parts that we would be missing or, or able to adapt to make those fit. The guy said that the engine ran great, said he had it in his garage the entire time. Everything's 100%. It's all good. With Facebook Marketplace, buyer beware, it's our problem. But we trusted this man's word and expected that this engine would work 100%. Unfortunately, my dad tore this down. And as you can see, there's some water on top of the pistons and in the cylinders, pitted the walls. The engine's essentially cooked. You would have to have this board out and we just aren't gonna do that because boring it out means you gotta do X, Y, and Z. And that's just not what we're looking for whenever we're looking for a cheap engine. Here's some pictures my dad took before he soaked up some of the water in here and some other pictures where stuff is burnt. Lots of gunk on the, uh, the headers here. You can see on top here, these spark plugs are essentially worthless, just little pins. This is what they're supposed to look like and this is what they do look like. So definitely not what we're looking for. I understand that shit happens. It's just the way the world goes. This guy may have not known that he left the engine outside and let it fill full of water. So we texted him and asked, hey man, well, like, what can you do for us? Now, this is Facebook Marketplace, so buyer beware. We kind of know that we're SOL, but... Uh, he texted back and was like, hey, I'll make it right. This is days ago. We're like, all right, man, like, just let us know whatever the plan is. Hasn't gotten back to us for a couple of days. I'm pretty sure it's like, man, F this. Like, I'm not, I got the money. We're good. Like, I'm not dealing with this crap. So we're stuck with a jacked up 5.3. And it's like, well, at least we get the wiring harnesses. Unfortunately, those were just like cut, like full blown cut. And there's no way to know really where these go other than following them back from the other end of the wiring harness and see where they hook up. Like trying to trace all these wires through the fuse box would be almost impossible. So the other thing is, at least we have a starter. I don't know too much about these, but my dad said something on this like isn't good. So it's not ruined, but it's like not in good shape. Long story short, I think this guy just had a busted 5.3 and just wanted to get rid of it. So uh, we lost some money, wasted some time. We're back at square one. The reason why I'm so upset here is because uh, it's like not, I didn't get scammed, but my dad did and it's sad to see him because he's such an honest hard-working individual he's retired now and to get just screwed over like this it's almost like i know with that guy it's not personal he's just looking to possibly make some money now i don't know maybe this is an honest mistake and a couple weeks from now he'll go back to us and rectify the situation but as of right now he just scammed my dad out of money and that's just complete bullshit I'll tell you what boys i got so much planned so much content planned for the rest of the summer i don't know if you guys saw the colorado zero two dropping that thing looks insane just like the Ram TRX. So I may have to make that my next purchase. Sorry, Toyota Tacoma, but that Colorado Zero Two looks insane. Follow me on Instagram, RF Racing 717 Likes are always appreciated. Say burn down in the comments because we got absolutely burned on the 5.3 liter deal. Making you guys do that stuff is a little bit cringe, but YouTube loves it. The algorithm eats it alive and it promotes the video. So thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you guys next time.